Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I'm adding water to a number 10 can, and I'm only going to fill up about a third of it. Then I'm going to add half of the water to a small pot on the stove. And my secret ingredient is crawfish and crab boil seasoning. It's got all of the salt and other seasonings you need to make a flavorful chicken, minus the sage and some rosemary. Now all you have to do is give it a quick whisk, then bring it to a boil, and then remove it from the stove and add the rest of that cold water. Now you can add ice if you'd like to cool it down faster. But now that that salt has dissolved, all you have to do is wait a few minutes while you prepare the chicken anyway. And what I've got here is a six pound bird. You don't want anything bigger than this or it won't fit in the can. And all you've got to do is just slide it down in, push the legs, and then just come right over the top of it with that brine. And once you're convinced that lid won't come off, just take it straight to the refrigerator and let it cure for 24 hours. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now I probably should have mentioned before, if you'll notice here, I had the breast down first. That's what really needs to be seasoned here. The legs get it as well, but you really want it to penetrate and soak into that white breast meat. When you brine, seasoning on the outside isn't necessary, so you just throw on the lid, throw it in the oven, and you bake at 350 degrees for an hour and a half. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Just make sure you get your core temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit and then you can start carving into that savory breast meat. And I assure you, though it looks just like a cut piece of chicken, it's got so much flavor in there you just won't believe it. I usually cut a few slices per plate Golly, just look at it. Very nice, very tender slices. And I always go for one leg and thigh portion as well. And don't forget about the brine that cooked out of the bird. This makes the best gravy. Now I just plate that breast meat, followed by that chicken thigh and leg, Hit it with some parsley, and there you have it. Tin can chicken brine, right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.